<laughs> your plans have been foiled by my plan, which are better than yours, you dummy! <laughs> and I am most certainly not retreating. Ha 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 This place is filled with idiots. Well, so that happened. Uh, Vladdy, I'm kind of with you, man. I don't know, I don't know if you don't think very highly of me, but, uh, I'm with you on that one. Ooh, Ted's journal. And another folio here. Oh, good stuff. This is must be Ted's room. It's very clean. A lot of fun stuff to read. Oh, here, Ran Ranka. Oh, we got lots of stuff to read now. There's this picture from himself above his fireplace. That's weird, isn't it? That's a little weird. Uh, what does it say about his uh, stuff here? We got this unicorn candle, a candle holder carving of a Dave, of the legendary unicorn who brought to life by a hungover demigod. This magical creature possessed near infinite foresight and complete lack of spatial awareness and fell to its death immediately after it was created. Uh, the lab report could outlining further tests on the facility's breakthrough test subject, the famed female Ruby Queen Corn. Much more concerning than the last one, as it uses the phrase like can't be controlled, or the corn follow her, or too mu much too British. Recommend sequestering subject as soon as possible until further notice. And the Ted's journal here. Written entirely in blue pen, in perfectly sized paragraph, it's the most depressing diary known to man. Highlights include many thoughts on optimal sock organization, regrets on his partnership with Bob, and sadness that his own project, an experimental AI program, can't get funded. Yeah, feel free, buddy. Oh, we got one more here. An old newspaper clipping. Local teens win big science award. An old newspaper clipping shows a very young Bob and Ted winning a science award for artificial intelligence prototype. Judging by their demeanor, their partnership hasn't changed much since then. The article notably, notably praises the display's slick presentation, spearheaded by Bob, and completely ignores the sciencey parts, which Ted did on his own. Uh, they've been together a long time, apparently. Wow. Took, had quite the uh, quite the life together. Cigarettes or cards? Eh, cigarettes, I think. All right. Is there anything else here? He's got a lot of backstory. I guess we got this new uh, jar of Varenka. Oh, you know what we can do is put this into the coffee machine. Yeah, we'll go do that quick here. All right, now where was that coffee machine? Um, first of all, a cheap knockoff of a well-known decaf coffee brand, Ranka is unique in that it doesn't taste like coffee whatsoever. Instead, the makers went for the taste and texture of an old boot. It's only it's the only thing that the facility's coffee trolley delivers. Okay, so that's the, uh, it's down here actually. Is that it down there? Yeah, it's on the track, that's right. Okay, so we gotta go back down there and drop this bad boy off here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, here we go. Oh, here it goes. Uh, what did that do for us? I guess, oh, we can we can go through here, of course. All right, you coming, buddy? He's not coming. We would just like collapsed into a heap over here. Oh, he's coming. Good. Glad you can make it, friend. Oh, hello. Script for a Broadway musical. Interesting. Add it to Foley. Okay, we gotta check that out. An autobiographical play about the story of a banana cornstalk's quest to destroy something called flesh bags. The story has several continuity problems, and the choreography makes absolutely no sense unless the dancers gain the ability to transform into quantum state and teleport from one motion to another. So, uh, a corn, a corn written uh, thing here. And Corn wrote a uh, play. Oh, oh, Vladdy, Vladdy, come back! Oh, Vladdy, open it, open. No, no I'm pressing at the same time you are. Oh, he's, he's stuck on the wall over there. Okay, never mind. I thought he was trying to open it. Uh, let's stand up here. Why would I pick that up? Maybe it was the smell. Maybe it was the light caught. The way the light caught the plastic. But something about this particular garbage bag caught your eye and never let go. It will carry it with you always. So, I don't know, man. Step lit. Okay, we got a step ladder. We pick up some weird stuff. Collecting all of this garbage will not make you less stupid, idiot. You don't know that for sure. 
Bob, I don't care how much you love the third-rate popcorn, stop framing ads and hanging them here. It's stupid. Bob was so enamored with his popcorn brand that it, and its mascot that he framed a number of its favorite advertisements and placed them all over the facility. They were removed immediately by the staff. Uh, why is it an inventory item, though, is my question. It's interesting. Uh, craft glue. Hey, if you ask nicely, Vlad, he can fix the back door to level one. He won't like it, but he'll do it. Hiya, Ted. Just want to let you know I spilled some soda. I spilled soda on some of your things and put them in here to dry out. Nothing serious. Just some old moldy photos and papers in your important pile. Sorry. Bob, I hate you so much. See, I'm thinking... We're... Vladdy, you and me are Bob and Ted, by the way. We are Bob and Ted. Like, I'm the Bob, you're the Ted. It's just... Totally. You tell me I'm picking up garbage. You're tell Ted's always telling Bob that he's buying a bunch of garbage. It all makes sense. It all comes together. Or the replacements. Oh, gosh. Um, Alright, so, uh, you figure out this glue may come in useful at some point. Uh, once you finally manage to unstick the, your head from your shoulder. Okay. Um... Step ladder. Use that someplace. Uh, so it said to head up to the first floor. The door on the first floor, it said. That's what it said. Alright, so let's back, go back up then and see what we can find. Also, the step ladder might come in handy too. We'll have to find out. I don't know which door they're talking about though, is the thing. So, hopefully it. Oh, this door? Why does Bloody have to fixing everything? Fix it, bud. Is it idiot's turn? I can do it. So I'll do I'll get the next one. We'll take turns. I'll get the next one. Bloody not even sure what to fix. Is Bloody supposed to hit stoop? Stupid American garbage. It's a magic touch. Idiots. Okay, so we have a ladder now. What does the ladder do for us? And again, I'm pretty confident we didn't miss anything here. But um, someone in the comments said that, that they seem to think that I missed something in here. That was lit up. Well, I'll take a quick perusal. I see these over here. I saw those already. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything lit up. Might be just a trick of the light. I'm not sure. But, um... Gosh, a lot of boxes. What can we do with the step ladder that we couldn't do before? Yeah, I'm gonna need to wander around for a minute and figure out what I can do with a stepladder. Let's see what the tooltip says. You vaguely remember the ladder that you spotted earlier in West Hook 2 that you could access with the help of stepladder. Uh, you note that your observation happened a few moments ago, or rather several centuries ago, because you did not have an, you have little to no concept of living your time. Okay. Uh, well that was West Hook 2. This is West Hook 1. Let's head down here. That does help a lot, though. I'm glad, I'm glad that these tooltips, whenever I get stuck and don't know anything, these these uh, explanations do help quite a bit. So if we sneak in through here, we gotta look for West Hook 2. West Hook's control. So I think West Hook 2 is right over here. What does it say on the sign here? West Hook 2, okay, cool, we got it. And there's a ladder in here someplace we can access with a smaller ladder. Ah, here we go. See, I never went back over here. That's why. That's why it's not making sense to me. Unless this was, uh, ah, see? Okay, see, we didn't explore fully is the problem. Now we can access this going up. And we're back outside. Oh. Laddie follows you somehow. Yeah, that's a good point. Don't worry about exp explaining that one. Um, okay, so there's this. Uh... Hello, hello? What have we here? Well, let's just start touching buttons. Oh, no, we can't do anything with this yet. We gotta wait. But, that's good that we found it. Finding stuff is important. Uh, getting lost in the corn maze, once again, is, is important, too. Okay, this looks like someplace we've been before, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. I would remember this. Security quarters. 
yeah, I agree, Vet Letty. This uh, this does seem to look work of very bored, mad people. A boring security report. One of many reports written by a lone soldier charged with keeping the facility safe. After reading this, it seems that wasn't a problem. Most entry logs are variations on the phrase, nothing to report. Uh, also containing a running count of crossword puzzles solved, which numbers in the tens of thousands. All right. You just got to get a stamp that says nothing to report. Just stamp everything with that. More stupid garbage, idiot. Hey, man. That's how it work. Pizza flyer. Okay. Viva la pizza! A flyer for a local pizza restaurant that looks like it was frequented often by some facility staff. Includes a special for their signature quintuple cheese pizza, which offers to customers for free if they can finish it in 20 minutes or less without suffering a massive heart attack. I took a full chair. You carry this as a reminder to stop every once in a while and sit. Clear your mind and ponder on the meaning of things. You will never do this at once in the course of your adventure. Instead, everyone else will ponder why you're wearing a chair as a hat. See, I don't know. We're exceptionally dumb. Like based on based on the tooltips here, the things we pick up and the things we do with them are exceptionally dumb. That's why I think we're Bob. I think I think I think someone in the comments mentioned maybe we're, we've been we're corn spliced with Bob's jeans. It seems like that's possible, and it seems like something Bob would do. Uh, this wrench is something you could use to get rid of a chemical liquid that fills a pool. Here's a hint. It doesn't involve throwing it into the pool itself. Yes, that's true. And, uh, we don't quite know what to do with the rest of the stuff. But the glue, for instance, you figure out this, you figure this glue will come useful at some point. Yeah, got it. So that's like for the future. We don't know what we need to do with that yet, but it should present itself when we find a opportunity to. And over here, we can use it for this. Now, I haven't figured out why. Use the chemical wrench to drain the chemical runoff pool. The smell remains. Okay, so we drained a chemical runoff pool. I'm guessing that's to the right here then. Let's see. Ah, see, we did it before we needed to know even before we needed to do it. Um. Bloody glad he cannot smell. It would be worse than garbage here. Yeah, it would be pretty bad, bud. Oh, there's a key down there. Uh, do we just jump in. We just jump in. Oh, we gotta go to the lifeguard's chair. Okay, let's go for it. Toolbox key. Okay, if only we knew where the toolbox was. See, I feel like we're finding some things out of order here for sure. Oh, we could have taken this one. Oh, I wanted to try it so bad. Okay. So now, oh, hello, another rock. Questionable rock. You're not really sure if this rock, particular rock is a rock at all, or simply a very cleverly colored sponge. You have named it Jarvis. Jarvis the rock sponge. Okay, so... We're looking for a toolbox. And uh, let's see if it tells us might, where we might find it. There's a toolbox near that strange spire that this key would fit perfectly to. You manage to stop dropping it in every third step you take, okay. So, near that spire... Strange Spire. What the heck do they mean by that? I wouldn't really call those ring things the spires. Oh, we got a fuel jug. Okay. And a rusty wheel. Looks like fuel for the tractor nearby. Being a, the skeptic that you are, you took several gulps of liquid inside to confirm your theory that what, on what it was. And you were right. We also just picked up something else. So, folio, this, in a quiet moment, you were able to take this rusty wheel and roll it along the ground, wondering what its purpose could be. Afterwards, you'll forget you have it. We're just very curious about the world. That makes me think that we're not human. Humans don't have this much curiosity, can they? Do they? I don't know. We're we just pick up random wheels? Oh, here we go. Wow, we missed a path altogether here. Yes, it can't do that thing it does anymore. What does it do again? Goes places. All right. Yes, I remember. Want me to do it or what? Sit there and talk all this of the time? Um. Yeah, we can do that. that I got the means. Junk. Tractor somewhat prepped. Needs another item to be fully ready. What else do we have? Glue, key, something.
Nope, not glue. Okay, let's take a look down here and see what we can see. Because this is probably going to knock down like a wall there or something like that. Let's keep taking a look around here. Oh, here we go. What's this say? Tea party in progress. Do not disturb. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, we've been here before. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, this this is a strange spire. Sure. Yeah, I could buy that. I mean, it's a lightning rod. We know that much. What is this stupid thing? It's very important, Vladdy thinks. And that man appears to be dead. He really doesn't look too good, does he? No, not at all. Rather sickly in appearance. Has he eaten anything in the past year? I don't think so. Do you think he has the mumps? Very likely. It might have something to do with all that lightning that coursed through his body. And that he was possibly told he would get godlike powers if he was connected to that machine. Quality work on that, by the way. Thank you. Oh. It's their fault. Really okay. That man. Oh, yes, very much. Good riddance. Ah, here we go. You have to carry stupid bag when you take all this stupid garbage. Well, you could carry it, buddy. I'm not stopping you. I mean, I could throw this all in your bag, and then I wouldn't have to worry about carrying it. That'd be perfect. Perfect system. No problems whatsoever. I'm good with it. Okay, so we got what we need for the tractor, assumably. Assumably? Assumably. New words created on the spot. Presumably. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, baby. We're ready for you. Here we go. Prep tractor. It's ready to go. Okay. Stick it in drive. Let's get out of here. Corn, get out of the way. All right. Oh, Vladdy's gonna do it. Hey, Vladdy. Vladdy should drive this stupid thing. Do it, bud. Makes more sense. Large chance for pain and suffering. Idiot. What's a boy, stupid idiot? Vladdy do everything. Always Vladdy. You're gonna love it once you try it, though. Hey, how does Vladdy start this stupid thing? Like this? Oh, okay. Stupid thing. Ooh, it's not so bad. <laughs> See? Go, stupid thing, go! <laughs> this is good, ah. This is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I cheat on you, Vichelo. Oh, boy. Everything under control. Why won't she throw me? Stupid thing, go that way! Oh, he took out the tea party. Ah, so that's what it does. Well, that didn't go well. No, not at all. I mean, it depends on what your, uh... A new path has been smashed open for you. Thank you, game. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it went well, I mean, it depends on what your what your goals were there. I mean, for us, it went well. It smashed through that wall of boxes for the tea party. So, in that case, it went well for us. I don't know. Depends on you gotta, you gotta very you gotta modulate your uh, expectations there. I think is the problem. We have certainly made a mess of things, though, haven't we?